welcome to our channel butter cream on this channel we'll be cooking lots of fun things today we'll be trying a special Moldavian dish yeah it's a dish called masuni and we eat it with a bread called roshi and we're gonna make two types of masuni today what types of masuni we'll make today we're going to try out pumpkin and we're also going to try out another lettuce one and it's mixed with a very fresh tuna and coconut husk and, and also lemon zest. Yay! So we've just come back from Queen Victoria Market to get our ingredients. How was the trip? Oh, it was great. I met a new friend and he gave me discounts too. The Muslim effect. Yay! All right. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Hello, we're back to making Masuni. Yeah. So we have now made the basis for Masuni. So we just have to mix it with the vegetables. What was in the mix again? It was tuna, coconut husk, then some lemon and some onion. Oh, so the lemon is going to give it a nice and sour taste? Yeah, true. And we also put some salt to make a balance of all it. And what do we have next to it? And here is some lettuce and here's some boiled pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to mix the boiled pumpkin first. So we have made, uh, divided it into two. And this is our first salad? Yes, this is our first masuni. Do people eat lots of masuni in Maldives? Yeah, uh, usually they eat this in breakfast with roshi so here it's done because there's lots of seafood in the mountains yeah yeah we get fresh tuna every day we Ooh, look at that yes this one I tried some of this as well. It's so refreshing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job, Chef. Thank you. Now we're gonna mix the other half of it mm -hmm. and put the masoni here. And we're gonna use the lettuce. Yum. So refreshing. Put it like. And we didn't put any oil in this, did we? Yeah, it's quite healthy. Ooh, one little bit of lettuce. What was your favorite memory of eating masuni? My mother always made such yummy masuni. I always miss her when I make masuni. There should be a balance of tuna and leaf in it. So we're not adding all of it. We'll add just a bit more. The ratio is very important. True. Everything in moderation. So here we have the chismasuni. Oh, look at that! 10 out of 10 presentation. <laughs> she looks so happy. Yum! There we have it, the salad. Presented to you <laughs> by Shamila. We are up to part two of our Masuni journey. And we're going to make the Roshi for Masuni. Who's Roshi? Roshi is a bread which we use to eat with Masuni. So it goes with our salad that we just made. Woo! <laughs> so I have already made the dough. We just gonna roll it and okay. This is how we roll it. Oh and I see you laid some flour on the bottom as well. Yes, and also I also have wrapped some plastic wrap so it mm -hmm. doesn't stick. Yeah. We're gonna roll it like a circle. In my duty today we'll be cooking the roshi. Yes. I mean really the 
So it's more like Indian roti, but with the all the men twist. And also with that oil. Yeah, we didn't put any oil on there. This is the first roti. I think this size is okay. There you go. Isn't it brown and subtle and beautiful? So we're done with one roshi. We're gonna make four roshi for each of us two roshi. You go, huh? Show it to the camera. Is it a bra? It's bigger than my face. Put it over my face. Put it over your face. <laughs> so you can cover her face. I'm Shamila's cooking assistant for today. Yeah. Tomorrow she'll be mine, baby. typical breakfast yes we're finally done making it yeah now we're going to taste test it oh Han, why don't you first taste it thank you so much <laughs> so how about you we use one and tear a small part and just pick up some masoni and eat it voila Pretty good, huh? Yeah? It tastes so nice. You have salty flavors in it. You also have sourness from the lemon and some sweetness from the coconut as well. Such interesting flavors. Which one do you like more, the lettuce one or the pumpkin one? Personally, I like the pumpkin one the most because it's a bit sweet and soft oh and the rashi is so soft today look thank you samila hope you all enjoyed this masoni see you next time